the name of the movie is Extreme. The film begins with a man called Maximo calling his son Ander to ask him if he is ready because they are leaving Barcelona. After he finishes work, Maximo arrives at a Colombian drug manufacturing plant and Maximo's brother Lucero enters the factory. While he asks Maximo and his friend Rafa to wait in the car, Lucero meets the owner of the factory named Romeo to pay him a sum of money in exchange for the support of Lucero's father. Because he will run for the head of criminal organizations in Europe, Romeo's condition was that his son should be appointed as an important official. Meanwhile, Lucero's father is on his way with Lucero's sister, Maria, to the elections, which will start in half an hour. Romeo was surprised when, instead of the money, he opened the bag in which he found his son's head. There was an exchange of fire between Lucero's men and Romeo, and after killing some of Romeo's men, Lucero asked Rafa to call his father and tell him that Romeo had fled and that the elections were a trap. Lucero then orders Maximo to kill all of Romeo's men and the factory workers as well. Maximo didn't like Lucero's way of handling things, especially the unarmed factory workers, but he was loyal to his family and to Lucero's father, whom he considered like his biological son. Lucero asks Maximo to leave and start a new life with his son after learning that his father will arrive at the factory soon. Soon after, Lucero's father arrived and was furious at what he had done although he had sent Lucero to Japan in the past to learn the meaning of loyalty and self-respect, but instead he learned the brutality of the Yakuza and returned to Barcelona. When they are talking Lucero suddenly orders a hitman named Chulmu to kill his father's bodyguards including Maria. When Maria realized she snuck away before they killed her, Lucero then pointed a gun at his father to kill him because he wanted to take his place. Before killing him, he told him how much he hated him because he loved Maria and Maximo more than him even though he was his real son. He asked his father if he preferred a shot to the head or the heart. His father answered the head, so Lucero fulfilled his father's request. Then Chulmu tells him that Maria managed to escape. We see Maximo, who arrived at his home, hugged his son, and then handed the key to the nanny, who gave the key to a mysterious man without Maximo's knowledge in exchange for some money. While Ander was playing the guitar, he noticed someone in his house. Maximo orders Ander to hide. Soon after, a group of people attacked Maximo's house. At first Maximo manages to fight them off on his own, but when a man named Finito enters, he shoots Maximo from behind and then shoots Ander to death in front of his father's eyes. After what happened, Finito rushed outside and told Lucero what he had done. It turns out that Lucero is the one who ordered the killing of Maximo and his son. Before he leaves, Finito blows up Maximo's house to cover his tracks. Two years later, we see a young man named Leo getting close to his girlfriend, Daniela. Leo was a drug dealer on the campus where he taught. When Leo and Daniela pass an abandoned garage, they hear loud music and decide to enter. They watched Maximo who was still alive, training his body and practicing martial arts. That night, Leo came home and gave the money he earned from selling drugs to his mother, who was ignorant of his work. He also gave his brother a gift for his birthday. Soon after, Leo received a call from the supplier, a man named Jero who turned out to be working for Lucero. The man asked Leo to sell drugs in a Russian gangster territory but Leo refused because he would be killed if he did. But Jero forced Leo to do so and he had no other choice. Leo manages to sell several packages of heroin before he is caught by the Russians, who beat him up in a deserted alley, warn him not to sell in their area, and threaten to kill him. At the same time Maximo was passing by the alley so he tried to help Leo by beating up the Russians and then quickly left. Leo manages to follow Maximo until he reaches the old garage where he used to live. Leo thanks Maximo for helping him. While Maximo was tending to his wound, Leo asked him if he could play the guitar. He tells him that the guitar belonged to his murdered son Ander and he can't play it. 
After talking about his son, he remembered what happened to him before his eyes. And since that time he has been determined to take revenge on Lucero, but Lucero has disappeared and no one knows his whereabouts. The next day Leo asks Maximo to teach him how to defend himself in exchange for him teaching him to play the guitar. Maximo agreed to his request. He began by teaching him the basics of fighting, and before leaving Leo wrote his number so that Maximo could call him and ask him to bid him farewell with a gesture that his late son Ander used to do. Elsewhere Lucero is gambling with his business partners and later tells Rafa that he intends to return to Barcelona to lead the Mafia, which is controlled by Dimitri the Russian mobster. While Leo is on campus, Jero calls him and asks him to come back to sell drugs in the Russian area, but Leo refuses and hangs up. Despite this, Leo goes that night to the Russian area while Jero and his men are gone too. When Leo saw Jero he ran away but in vain because Jero caught him and beat him badly and broke his hand. Because he found out that Leo stole some money from him. The next day Maximo was surprised to find Daniela in front of the garage door looking for Leo. She tells him that Leo stole the money he earned by selling drugs and that Jero could be behind his disappearance. Maximo sent a message to Leo and asked him to meet him and when he met him in the church he told him everything. Maximo asks Maria to help Leo, but instead she reminds him of their plan and of the soon-to-be-held elections of Mafia bosses. In the evening Jero and his men enter a Russian gang's nightclub. It turns out that Maximo was following Jero to avenge Leo. Maximo beat Jero easily, and when his men wanted to help him, one of them recognized Maximo and decided to run away. Maximo manages to defeat all of Jero's men and breaks his hand the same way he broke Leo's. After that he goes to Maria's house to check on Leo's condition and teach Maria martial arts. Elsewhere Finito went to Jero's house and was mocking him for what happened to him. Jero tells Finito that the man who attacked him is called Gladiator. Upon hearing that name, Finito realizes that the man who hit Jero is Maximo, who is still alive. Finito kills Jero, he asked his men about the whereabouts of Maximo and Leo. Meanwhile, Leo, who has recovered, decides to go home, ignoring the warnings of Maria and Maximo. Maximo took Leo to his home to ensure his safety, however Leo was shocked to find out that his younger brother had died along with his mother and grandfather. Finito was already there when they were about to kill Leo. Maximo burst in and saved him. Maximo puts up a fierce battle with Finito and his men but Finito manages to escape. Maximo takes Leo back to Maria's house while Maria tends to Maximo's wounds. He tells her that Finito knows he's still alive, angering Maria, because their revenge plan may fail. Maria went to Leo, who was crying and blaming himself for the death of his family. Maria tried to calm him down, but Leo seemed so devastated that he decided to lock himself in his room. Maximo returns to the garage where he lives and Maria calls him to warn him about Finito. Maximo prepared to face Finito's men and using his fighting skills managed to take down Finito's men with ease. Then Maria gives him information about a man named Urquiza who is in charge of organizing Lucero's money laundering activities and is in a nightclub. Maximo went to the club but he could not enter because the place was closed. Maxine doesn't care and kills the guards one by one and Urquiza's men too. Maria tells Maximo that the money will be delivered to Lucero before the election and the truck. That will carry the money will arrive in 20 minutes. Urquiza tried to escape while Maximo was fighting off his men, but Maximo managed to catch up and beat him. He then sent a message from Urquiza's phone to Lucero before taking all the money and leaving. After that Rafa went to Urquiza and looked very surprised when he saw what had happened in the club. Urquiza told him everything, as well as the letter and the mobile phone he had given him. Meanwhile Maria was trying to remove the bullet in Maximo's body because he was injured in the club, but Maximo refused to undergo the operation because Lucero would arrive soon and he wanted to kill him as soon as he arrived. 
Leo, worried about Maximo's condition, injects him with an anesthetic so Maria can remove the bullet. Lucero arrives in Barcelona and asks Rafa to take him to meet Urquiza because he didn't get the information he wanted. Lucero brutally kills Urquiza. Leo, on the other hand, took Maria's gun when she was asleep and walked out after learning of Urquiza's whereabouts through tracking devices. Arriving at the scene, he pointed the gun at two people who were about to dispose of Urquiza's body. Suddenly, Finito walks in on them and manages to hit Leo hard. Chulmu was surprised when he heard Leo say that Maximo would save him. When Finito is about to kill Leo, Maria drives by and hits Finito, then takes Leo to the hospital. On the way, she tried to call Maximo, but he didn't answer because he was unconscious. One of Veneto's men unknowingly follows Maria to the hospital and informs Finito of her whereabouts. The Russian, learning that Maximo is alive, orders Finito to kill him on the spot. On the other hand, Chulmu entered Maria's house to be greeted by Maximo, who finally woke up. Chulmu told Maximo that he wanted him to be the leader and to replace his father, because he had left the world of crime behind and started a new life with his son. He decided to devote himself to Lucero. The two got into a fierce fight, then Maximo asked Chulmu where Lucero was. But because Chulmu said something that angered Maximo, he stabbed him to death. He then went to check on Leo in the hospital and then went to Lucero. Rafa, learning of Maximov's arrival, tells Lucero about it. Maximo killed Lucero's men one by one and when he met Rafa he helped him go kill Lucero. But suddenly one of Lucero's men throws a grenade. Rafa was killed by the explosion. Maximo finally meets Lucero, who tells him that the reason he did all this was because their father loved him and Maria more than him. The two got into a fierce fight, and when Maximo almost killed his brother, Finito, who was holding Maria hostage, appears and distracts Maximo, who is defeated by Lucero. Maria tried to hit Finito but fell and passed out. Lucero ordered Finito to kill Maximo while he was going to kill Maria, but suddenly Maximo stood up and killed Finito with one blow. Then Maria wakes up and attacks Lucero. Also, Maximo attacked him. He managed to kill Lucero with a stab in the heart and a shot in the head, and after they got rid of him, they go to get Leo out of the hospital and take Lucero's money. Here the movie ends. Thank you for watching.